Since you know what to pick, so why did you ask me? I'm very stressed out. He said he's on his way, sweetheart. You know how hectic traffic could be at times, huh? I know, but that's the more reason I should have left the office earlier than you did. You see, that's why you're a good girl. Hmm? I would like you to sit and wait for your brother. Why is your mother here? No, 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 no. They have this meal together as a family. Wow. Mm -hmm. You can see some great table there. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful, great color on the table. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mama. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Come here. Mm -hmm. I am so sorry to lost my Mother, what have I, what have I done? What, what did I do? Done? Seriously? Uh, We're supposed to have this meal together mm -hmm. as a family and you kept everyone waiting. <laughs> I know, I'm, you know how traffic can be. I'm just so I know, tired. Well, that's more reason you have left earlier than you did. Mother, you know how traffic can be in this town. You know it, Mother. See, see, see. It's okay. It's okay, kids. Huh? Your beautiful sister here is traveling to the UK to further her studies. Yes, Mother. So we are here to eat and enjoy this lunch. I know, Mother. In order to bid her farewell tomorrow. I'm sorry, darling. I'm sorry. You understand? But there goes your farewell speech on the table. Wait, the two of you. Is this supposed to be a farewell meal for me? I'm sorry but about what it. What did I do with your frog shop? What did I do? You better do. You really, you should. You should sincerely. Yeah. Oh, what did I do? I didn't cross this. Oh, it's right. I'm what not eating again. I won't eat I'm so Okay, eat from a big brother. I'm not eating. Eat from a big brother. Give me a no. Mother, look. What? It's even better you don't eat because where you are going, there's so much food. You, you suppose you tell me, you won't beg me to eat now. <laughs> tell your daughter to eat. As far as I'm concerned, I'm on track running my race. Who is the only girl in this house? Yeah. Mommy. Mm, Come on, mm. beauty. If I go, I won't come back. Oh, <laughs> you won't come back. Come back. I love you, you know? Don't come, please. Don't come. Don't come. Girl. I knew you must say something, Cheta. <laughs> She's Mother, traveling. You better go. Okay, girl. I'm going to miss you anyway. Cheta, can you concentrate on that boot and close it? That's right. Take good care of yourself. Mother, you stop spoiling her. What? Just be a good girl. Why would she open the door? What? 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 Mother, you shouldn't be doing this. It's she this is girl. the princess of this house. Are you jealous? understand my mother. She's been the one bothering me about all this marriage stuff. Get married to the right girl, the one with a positive spirit, positive energy and nothing otherwise and all that. But she's refused to accept any girl that I've indicated interest in. Why is she doing that? What's the problem? Why is she doing that? 
friend, she sees every girl I, I bring around as a potential fraster. Oh, gold dagger, how could she? Cheta, you are old enough to know that mothers around the world are like that. I mean, it's, it's a given. They always have that thought. So all you need to do, the way we will solve this, is find a particular girl you like. You know, just pick one. Introduce her and insist that that is the one you will marry. Land. That's, 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 that's where my problem comes in. Now, of this... I've forgotten about all the girls that are known in life. You know those sweet girls, the girls you usually, you know, move around with and all that. I'm beginning to see this whole marriage stuff in my own mother's perspective. I mean, instead of me allowing myself to fall in love, I'm beginning to just start looking for a girl that is not a gold digger. I mean, how could, how could that happen? How, I don't understand. It's, it's a bit gravity. I, I just can't fathom what... Hey, look, I'm thinking, you don't need to settle for any girl or whatever the kind. When the time is right, you fall in love. So it's like when you find the right girl, you will be in love. It will marry. That's how it works. <laughs> right. You begin to sound like my mother. Right. How could you say that? Over? That's, that's, that's how my mother sounds like. Not your mother. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you out. It's the lens. <laughs> well, anyway, I just hope I, I, I fall in love with a girl. And I'll be, I'll be searching. I'll, I'll work so hard. Like you said. Like you were sounding like my mother. Better still, find a girl. That is not a gold thing. A friend of mine told me that there is vacancy here, so I came to see if it's still open. Sorry, we did not put up any notice for a vacancy here. Can you, can you check? Because she told me it was still open. Sorry, we can leave now. There is no vacancy. Just help me ask. At least I need this job, please. Madam, there is no vacancy here. At least ask first. I'm begging you. Madam, Just I ask. said there is no vacancy here. Ask. What's, Go happening inside here? The... What's happening here? Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, afternoon. Sir, she's looking for a job, but I just told her that there is no vacancy here. Yes, young lady. She's right, we don't have vacancy here. Excuse me. What can you do? I can do anything, sir. I mean, I can, I can do any office work, sir. Hmm. Make me in my office. Thank you, sir. dinner with you tonight. So are you ordering me or asking me? Oh. I'm asking you, can I have dinner with you tonight? I'm your employee, sir. You are an employee that has won her worthy of my admiration for the way you handle your business. Thank you, sir. Great. So I'll come 7 o'clock to pick you up. Seven is fine, sir. Where are we going? My house. Your house? Hi, Mom. Good day, Mom. Come join us. 
Good day, ma'am. Thanks, ma'am. Enjoy your meal. I think she doesn't like me. And I know. My mom doesn't accept people easily. So um, I guess that's got to change in no time. Why do you say that? I'm, I'm supposed to take you to a restaurant for this dinner, but I decided to bring you home so we could build our relationship and have something unusual, something different from what we used to have in the office. Sorry, I, I, I don't understand you. But I must say that I'm in love with you. Everything begins with a thought. But were you thinking? that you brought me in this dirty wine glass. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Well, change it. If I break it on your head. No, nothing. It's clean. So what has that got to do with you counting one, two, three, four? Hmm? Why are you quarreling with yourself out there? You see this glass that you just said is clean? I took it to the king of kings. Mm -hmm. And he told me that this glass is dirty. You know what? I'm just giving myself 20 seconds that it will take me to get him a new glass. And I'll take this same glass back to him. Let me see what he'll tell me. Let me see anything. You're going to take the glass back to him. <laughs> Let me see anything. Give me this girl. Come on. See, see, come, come, come. Please, eh? There you go. Ooh. Send my regards mm -hmm. to the king of kings. <laughs> <laughs> of course I will. And then also. See <laughs> <laughs> trouble. Back to him. I didn't say you wouldn't go. I told you, I really need to go. Besides, it's late. Honestly, but what has to be done still needs to be done. I 
I really have to go. I know, it's okay. <laughs> What are you doing here? Good and good. Her Majesty the Queen wants to see you, sir. Okay. You go down and tell I'll be there in a minute. <sighs> Mom. Mm -hmm. And I'm just glad that I was just trying to tell sure, the have you been able to confirm the arrival of a consignment for money? Yes, well. In that case, I think you should organize a business lunch. I have already arranged for that, Mom. I've done that for tomorrow. And you even promised me that the Lakeview property will soon be ours. Oh, beautiful. That's excellent. And in that case, you should join me this evening for the... No, no. <clears throat> Mom, I've got a special plan for this evening. Something really great. Are you going out with Lance? Not really. Land's out of town and uh, I've just got something that I have arranged. But uh, I'm fine. I've got to go now, Mom. I'll see you in a bit. See you later, Mom. It's an understatement. In fact, have you noticed the way he carries himself as if he's the richest man on planet Earth? God forbid. It's so annoying. Okay. If he's rich, that one have in your own pocket. What bring people about anyhow? See, have you noticed the way he looks at the queen? Shh. Be careful the way you see things around here. The walls have ears. Hmm, I know. Have you noticed it, yes or not? Yes, I have. Hmm? But between you and I, I haven't heard anything. You heard it. You heard it. Because me, I cannot say what I did not see. I saw it. Stop for me. You saw it and you know. Can I help you? Please. I beg. Just go. I'm going back to this. Hmm? Later. Um, I really don't have anything against the regent. It's just that I believe that Cheta is old enough to take over now. I am glad that we agreed on that. And we have a dance with the Queen. Uh, we will make him to understand that that is what is ought to be done. For the good of the community, <laughs> if Cheta takes over as a rightful heir, then it eliminates the chances <laughs> of fighting one another tomorrow. Exactly. Right. We are going to do just that. Thank you so much. See you then. Bye.
My address. Oh. You're welcome. Thank you, Your yeah, Majesty. Majesty. I'm sorry for keeping you with me. We appreciate your warm welcome. We thank you. I will always remain indebted to your elderly wisdom. Once again, I will say thank you very much. And you're welcome to this family. Once again, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Um, your Majesty, we have watched your son grow from toddler to a full-fledged man. And we think uh, it is about time he ascended to the throne of his forefathers. And Your Majesty, this is not the first time we talked about this issue. Ichiakuna, you're right. But the issue is that I have talked and discussed with my son in every possible way I could. But he just refused to budge. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty, Chetaya's son has to understand that it is his duty to sit on the throne of his forefathers. Um, his uncle, I mean, uh, the regent, is not a bad man. But we must do things and follow things accordingly. Hmm? And as your late husband's trusted friends, it is our duty to see that your son assumes his father's throne. My elders, I can't thank you enough for your love, for your care, for your concern about this family ever since I lost my husband. But I will make you a promise. I'm going to play my role as a mother and the queen of this kingdom to make sure that my late husband's efforts and your efforts will never go in vain. That is a promise. <laughs> your Majesty, what you just said now is like a music in my ears. And I tell you away, leave this wonderful exit to my humble home, a happy man. Your Majesty, it's like a where kwe. <laughs> mm, the wooding gong song, which is my favorite. <laughs> I feel good. I will always remain indebted to your elderly wisdom. Once again, I will say thank you very much. And you're welcome to this family. Oh, yes, Mr. Tunde. I'm sure you're expecting my call. My name is Emin Peters. Yes, I'll need a university degree certificate and also an NYSE discharge certificate before the next personal period. Yes, um, it has to give the impression that I'm the minister such in the state. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's our job. Um, apart from your goodwill, Shetan, your company has been the only company that has the capacity in purchase of the Lakeview property. I know, I am. I'm, I'm so. I know, I know. Yeah, you're right about that. And uh, believe me, you. I'm really grateful. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, hope to 
do more business with you in the near future. What are you not saying? Of course, my brother. How? We would do that. Now, you must take my words for it, Miguel. I am going to do so much. Oh, oh, oh. So, so much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you will benefit from it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Welcome. Lens, there's something I want you to do for me. For a reward, of course. But I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, getting you involved into all this. But right now, I will follow my instinct. Can I trust you on this? Yes, Your Majesty. I mean, anything for you. Um, for as long as it's within my powers, I'll, I'll, I'll get it done. I've always dreamt of a fine wedding between my son and a successful young girl. But by what is happening right now, I doubt if that will ever come to pass. Just because of a sudden appearance of a young girl called Amen. And my son is bent on having her. I know how difficult it is to make my son change his mind once he has taken a stand on something. So, my dear, I will want you to go underground. Search around. Try and find out everything, every information you can on that girl for me. Can you do it for me? Yes, yeah, yes, Your Majesty. Uh, <clears throat> yes, I can... I can get it done. It, it shouldn't be a problem. I can get it done. Man. Lens, order what you want. Order what you want to drink. Anything at all. You get it? I've just activated my celebration mode. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. What are we celebrating? You, you want to know what we're celebrating? Right, right, right. I don't want it to seem like I'm counting my chicks before they hatch. Tomorrow, tomorrow, Royal Investment Concern is going to be the proud owner of Lakeview Properties. Beyonce, <laughs> congratulations. Uh, I'm happy serious. for you. Honestly, man. Wow. Yeah. In that case, I will say. It's not premature to celebrate because you awesome, I'm awesome, we awesome, we need to celebrate. I know, bro. Right? Except I wish MM was here to celebrate with us. I know, I know, I know. She, she, she traveled, you know, but I guess what she traveled for is life was important. So we just got to say yes, 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 yes. So, uh, yes. a little bit. Wait a Well, that's fine. I mean, we'll celebrate. Let's celebrate. That's great. Yeah. So, so, so what are you doing tomorrow? What, how's tomorrow going to be? is not yet back. Um, he will soon be your majesty. I called him and he asked me to wait for him here. May I sit? No, I was about going out for a walk. Would you mind joining me? Uh, of course, I, I'd, I'd love to, yes. about this. I'm true. 
completely through with bachelorhood. I can't, I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> okay, hi. <laughs> you found the lucky girl, right? Let me tell you, I've not only found the lucky girl, mm. I have touched and I fell. So, which means Rita is, is lucky, isn't she? What do you mean by that? What what gave you that impression, man? She's the only one I know. I'm, 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 Rita is a nice girl, you know. She is really nice, but I'm talking about Emma. I want to get my, married to Emma. Okay. Um, what? Nothing. <laughs> why, 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 why are you acting like I've said something wrong? No, 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 no. nothing. I'm just... Uh, <laughs> look. I'm thinking you just need some time, you know, to, to think about it for a while. Have you proposed to her already? You, you just need some time. Both of Do you think I need to know her for a donkey? Yes. I don't need to know Emma for a donkey. Yes. All I know is I feel the chemistry between the two of us. And let me tell you something about the five P's. Okay. Perfect. Preparation prevents poor performance. And I'm perfectly prepared for Emma. Over this. I still think you need some time to think about it. Yeah. You, you really do. Yeah. <laughs> I, you, you, honestly, you're just so funny about. What exactly do you want from my son? Your Majesty, Jeta and I are friends and we, we love each other. What would you say if I gave you a huge sum of money to stay away from my son? Well, Your Majesty, I could never place the price tag on the love I have for, for Jeta. Interesting. So you want to marry my son and all his money? Since you cannot place a price on what your love for him is worth. I do not understand where the queen is driving at. Or should I call you a gold digger? Would that make you understand where I am driving at? I beg your pardon, your majesty. You have it. I think I've had enough for one day. And if your majesty would excuse me, I'd love to take my leave. Each time you say that, Lance, it just cracks me up. I don't know why. <laughs> Honestly, basically, it's just what I'm trying to... Excuse me for a moment. I'm just trying to say, oh, hi, darling, baby. Oh, you okay? Baby, stop, stop crying. What? What's wrong with you? Oh, baby, I'll be there in a jiffy. Baby, stop crying. Okay, see you in a moment. Yeah. I've got to go. Oh, baby, what's 
what's wrong with you? Are you okay? What's the problem? Baby, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? <laughs> what's wrong, baby? Wake up, what are you doing on the floor? It's your mother. My mother? What did she do again? What did she do to you, baby? I say I can't think. Can you just tell me, please? Please. Oh my God, that... How could you? Come here, darling. Come here, please. Just tell me. Let me know. I need to know this. Your mother offered to buy me of this relationship. And when I refused, she called me a gold digger. She said, what you think? I am a gold digger. No, a gold digger. No, babe. Ba I don't care about anything. Baby, I don't care hold about anything. Hold hold she called me a gold digger. How can she call me a gold digger? Calm down, baby. Calm down, baby. Listen, darling. Listen, look. Look, 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 look. You're not a gold digger. I don't see you like that. Cheta doesn't see you like that. How could you say that? I'm not a gold digger, Cheta. I don't care about anything. I don't I care. I know, but that's not what I feel. What we share, darling, is a special kind of love that nobody can deny it. I love you, and I do. But she doesn't understand that. She doesn't know that. She doesn't understand it, But Cheta. I do, don't I? I just told you that I do. I do understand that I, I love you so much. Sincerely, please come up, come up, come on, come on, baby, come up, please. Can you just come up? Hmm? I've got a surprise for you. I've got you something really special. You will love it. A diamond. You don't want it? Come on, how could you say that? You will love it. Did I say I was gonna get you a surprise? Baby, you will love it. Would you like it? Oh, come on, would you like it? Talk to me. Hmm? I know you would like it. Your Majesty! Oh, Lance, it's good to see you. Oh, mm. Mm. you look beautiful as always. Thank you. How was your day? Oh, great, great, great day. I just popped in to see Cheta. Is he around? No, Cheta, it's not yet back. Do you have any information for me? Well, nothing much. Uh, is he still really planning on marrying Emma? He is your friend, isn't he? I should be the one to ask the question. Well, I am not too sure that is what he wants to do. But if that is what he really wants to do, my suggestion would be he should take his time, study her a little bit, get to know who he's going to get married to, and that will give me some time to dig into her background. Exactly. Don't worry, you will have time. Right. Cheta, my brother! Yes! Mother and son. Hmm. What is it, Cheta? You look so agitated. Mother, we've got to speak to you on something very important. And I don't think I'm happy about this. Dads, uh, leave us. Goes an idiot again. Get out of here! Jeez. Mother. Yes. How could you say that to him? How could you call her a gold digger? It's unethical. Oh, Dad. Is that why you stopped the conversation I was having with Lens? This is important. This is about me. It's very important. Oh, Cheta. I might not have the right to choose a marriage partner for you. But I am a concerned mother. I wouldn't just sit and watch someone get married to you because she wants to use you as a means of her financial security. I want you to get married to a girl that will love you the way you are. That will love you from the bottom of her heart. That is all I want for you. Mother, are you playing blind over the love I share with Emin? I mean, she loves me. I love her genuinely. We love each other. And that shouldn't make you chase her out of the palace. For Christ's sake, I didn't do that. She couldn't just take any of my questions anymore, so she left. She walked out. But, Cheta, I thought there was something going on, something serious going on between you and Rita. If 
before this a mem of a girl appeared from nowhere mother i don't want to hear that name rita or whatever it is i i just don't want to hear it again in my head please Cheater. if you don't mind i i need to go to my room Cheater. mother but i'm sorry i just have to Cheta, my brother, what's the problem? You seem to be in a foul mood. What is wrong? I don't know why my mother is trying to mess up what I built up with Emma. It's so important to me. Look, Cheta, this is your mother we're talking about. Your majesty. Okay? Marriage is not something you want to rush into. Okay? Take your time. You don't just jump into marriage. Listen, I've decided to marry Emma because I can't afford to see someone messing her up like, a, like she's some garbage or something. Especially my mom. Cheta, you're talking to your mother. Your Majesty, I'll talk to him. Cheta, you're my brother. Your mother wants the best for you. And so do I. I mean, yours surely. Come on. Give it some time. Think about it. Get to know who you want to get married to. And then eventually, if you think you're okay, I mean, you can settle in. I mean, I'm not sure we'll have a problem with that. For now, think it through. Brilliant. But I've made up my mind already. And it's important to me. Mom, MM, on my mind. I have made up my mind. MM alone. My heart beats for her. Excuse me. Cheka. Yeah. Give it some time. Lance, you have to do something. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, it's okay. I don't like the way he sounds. I will take care of the situation. Oh, okay. Just have a seat. Don't, don't panic, have a seat. sight of the bigger picture and I'm here to make things straight once more you have to leave right now Chita will not appreciate meeting you here I don't think you should worry about him because he's on his way snoring to your treasure island whoever that is get away from me now that's mean that's what do mean. you want to settle straight what is it your silly boyfriend, Cheta, has madly fallen in love with you. But the good thing is his mother doesn't want that. He might just want to take you to the altar. But you see, as much as I'm being careful, anything can happen. So I just want to put it in your mind. Make it really crystal clear. Crystal clear. That nothing, nothing can go wrong. Don't forget what I want. Hmm? You have to leave this. Up so we could be together. No, no I'm, I'm very okay. I mean, don't worry, Darian. Just let me go pick up your phone. Oh, no, <laughs> I, I have too many things in your house I haven't even used. Yeah, I'm so good. Need... <laughs> yeah. I really don't 
Are you serious about that? No, I, I can I can help I you. Do. No, I, I no, I really don't need anything. So, I have too many things in here. So we go then? Yes, we, we should. We, we, we should. Okay. Go. <laughs> yes, we should. <laughs> Remind me that this is a beautiful morning because I know it already. I heard that you slept over, and I think it would be wise for you and I to have a chat. Amen. I want you out of my son's life for good. Maybe this check will prove to you how serious I am. Take it. You don't need to think about it. Just go ahead and cash it and leave. Double cross me in this job. Kill yourself. Just save me the trouble from washing your blood off my hands. Is that clear? Lance, you do not have to threaten me. I mean, I'm game. I'll do exactly as you said, okay? I'm not going to let you down. I'll do everything just the way you asked me to do it. Don't look at me like that. I'm serious. I promise. Serious, you're gonna kill me. You guys listen to the music. There's no music there. <laughs> there is none. <laughs> there isn't. You already said you're gonna kill me, so no music for you. <laughs> Hello? Lance, you will not believe what just happened. 
she is paying me off to leave her son alone. <laughs> Lance, you will, you will not believe how much. 20 million naira. Lance, and she is offering me 20 million naira to leave her son alone. <laughs> oh my goodness, Lance. Once we cash this money, we are bailing out. We are bailing out, Lance. Oh, it's here, it's with me, 20 million, just to leave the prince alone, that is here. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Yeah, hello, Jim. Please, dear, I just issued a check of 20 million to one Miss Emmett Peters. I would like you to instruct the bank to honor that check. But it should please alert me as soon as that check hit the counter. And she shouldn't leave the compound until I arrive. Yes. Yes, thank you. Oh, yes, hey! Oh. You're dressed already, way. Oh, yes, I am. I spoke with my agent about an office. I think he got one and he's been calling me, so I have to... Come on, baby, you know I've got something for you today. Yes, yes, I, I know. And that is why I'm going to be in a hurry. I am going to be here the second I'm done. I promise. There is no way I'm going to let you go know right there. You have to trust me, okay? Once I'm done, I'm going to get back here to quickly There's see no you. I need to go. Will you marry me? I would love. My, my goodness, this is... Oh, this is so beautiful. I, um, I, I really need to hurry to catch my appointment, but this is so beautiful. Thank you so, so much for this. I, we have to celebrate this. I mean, I wasn't expecting it. Let, so, let, me, let me see you. No, I... <laughs> yes, you should. Okay. Yes, you should. Careful. You too. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs> M.M., can I have your car key? Um, I, I really would need my car key. Can I have your car key, please? I, I, I have to use it. You won't be needing that. Let me have a place. I, I need You wouldn't be needing keys. this. We need this. The key to the brand new car. No! <laughs> no! I like it, right? I, I love this. I love it. Your phone is ringing. No, no, no. Don't, don't. Google. Don't help me. Whoever it is might spoil my mood. I don't want that. <laughs> Great. Hey, you call me Obi. Yes, my friends.
Let me just sit and watch when she will rush for that man. She can't resist it. To intimidate. me off the 20 million deal. It's not gonna happen. It can never happen. She will not get away with this. She cannot get away with this. <laughs> Thank you. Can I, can I go now? No, no, not yet. Just a moment. Just look at it. View it. The dashboards and all that. It's sweet. Let me hurry. Let me just take a drive. No, Come on, Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. What's wrong with you, stupid? Fix your cap up. Now, this is the royal customer. I've ordered him to take care of you, to dress you properly, so you can look like a royalty. Come on, sweet. Can't I do that when I get back? Let me just take a drive now. No, not this moment. Remember, you are now a royal fiance. So you, take her, dress her up. Thank you. Thank you, my friends. This way. Up my phone and back from the old car. <laughs> yes, oh my god. No, I think, no, um, no, hi. don't worry about it. It's okay. Yes. No time. Yeah, no time. Bye yes, yes, it, it's perfect. If you don't need it. Hurry up. This way, ma'am. Obi's waiting. Yeah. Obi, hurry up. Yeah. Get me a hanky so I can clean this up. Take my breath. What was I thinking when I called and told Lance about this morning? I should have done that. But I know God will forgive my stupidity. Because I'm going to dump his cold ass. I never knew I could ever be this lucky. 20 million naira and a new car to go with it. Life is beautiful. Please, Your Majesty. Tell Chesa that I want to see him. He's not around, Your Majesty. What of him, man? Actually, they went out together. Mom, I'm here. Oh, Cheta.
better stop calling Nance. I'm not going to take your call. Is this for real or it's a trap? Oh, you never know. I'll know when I get in there. What if it's a trap? <sighs> no pain, no gain. I guess I should go in. Stop calling me, Lance. Let me think straight. Let me think straight. She trying to run me over. Trying to cut me off the 20 million deal. Is that gonna happen? It can never happen. She will not get away with this. She cannot get away with this. I am not fucking up. I'm going in there to cash my check. It's my check. She gave it to me. Trap or no trap. But I'll be trapped with a 20 million naira check and I'll be trapped with nothing. Is it a joke? What's she just checked in my handbag? She gave me 20 million naira check and I saw it! 20 million! What happened to the second zero number six? 